try not to skip anything this time, okay? Anatomy. Oh, I guess I didn't miss anything. Okay, welcome to anatomy. Um, I gotta turn my lights off. Hang on, guys. I'm, I would recommend you do the same. You want to build atmosphere? Lights off, everyone. I'm turning every light off except for my computer light, which is obviously the light I need to stream. If I turn that off, we wouldn't have any stream. So, you know, give me a sec. Okay. Okay. Okay, what's going on? So, looks like a VHS. There's scan lines. Game volume could use a little boost. Let's go up to like 40. Kind of like that the textures are on unfiltered. It's like PS1 quality. Well, better than PS1 quality, but you know what I'm talking about. Crispy pixels. Um... Hmm. So even though I'm not overly prone to getting spooked very easily. I do like horror games, and I like games with creepy atmosphere. And I've been thinking about doing some horror movies lately, and really just, like, going all out, doing, like, a full, like, four horror movies in, like, a few nights kind of thing. You know what I mean? Tape. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the Neolithic era, humankind has defined itself by its buildings. Buildings for worship, buildings for socializing, buildings for protection, even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. So the house is very important, otherwise we would be damn dirty. Well, you know. Whoa, whoa, okay. Door kind of smacked me in the fucking face. Speaking of, like, humans being animals, you know, when I think about, like, mouse and keyboard versus controller, you know, I the way I see it is wh whatever you're comfortable with is fine. Right? It, obviously, it's your choice. However, if you think about a thumb, it's basically designed to grab fruit. It is a meat, like, extension that is designed so that you can grab a dildo or a piece of fruit and... You know, it's not really designed for, like, like tiny, teeny, like, adjustments. So you don't get the same level of, level of accuracy as you do with your entire wrist and entire arm. You know what I mean? So the meat appendage, it's useful. We need it. That's what separates us from the animals. However, maybe not as useful <laughs> on an analog stick on a controller. You know, so that's, I think, why um, when you use a mouse and keyboard, you have a greater degree of accuracy, you know, because you can use your entire meat meat stick, the, uh, the arm, the big meat stick, as opposed to the little one. So let me stop ruining the mood of this horror game, and let me insert the tape. The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself nor regard such shelters with such reverence and import. 
Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. Oh, and when I say designed, you know, I have some people they are like, Vinny, designed? Really? Who designed us? I'm just like, no. Hey, apparently that new Planet of the Apes movie is coming to Comic-Con speaking about designed. Maybe this game is about that. Maybe this game is about the difference between human and animal. Man and ape. So how many Harambe costumes do you think are going to be at Comic-Con this year? A friend of mine and I were discussing this. It was like, oh, what's the big popular costume this year? <sighs> Harambe. The poor zoo is going to have to issue another statement. Be like, how dare you? How, how fucking dare you? And then more people are going to do it. The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. To carry it further, if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. Oh. So, the house is like a less meaty, bloody cover. So our, our bodies are just houses made of meat. You know, I've said this before, but um, there's a theory that there's a skeleton inside all of us. It's unconfirmed. <laughs> but I'd like to think that we're inside of a skeleton because we are our brain and the brain is inside the skull. So even though some people think that a skeleton is in all of us, we're actually inside of a skeleton. That was probably the brightest thought I've ever had in my life. It doesn't really get a whole lot better from here. That's my peak, everyone. And that's not even a new thought. That's like a year old. So, I know. But you see, that's what my house is capable of. My meat house is only capable of thoughts such as that. For example, let us examine the living room. Often yes. the dominant space of a house is ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home. The living room is very much the heart of the house. Mm -hmm. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, activity, communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. Okay, so we've learned, what do we learn today, chat? This will be on the exam. So the living room is where we beat. You wanna put the put the bait up a bit. You better back up on a car to bait up a bit. You better feed a bit, gonna jump on all day, just jatter. It is easy to think of the kitchen and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The hallways and corridors of a house are its veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. Mm -hmm. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, 
and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. So, so far I haven't, I mean, we're, we're getting story about the house possibly being alive. I haven't been scared a whole lot, um, but I, I, I have faith, and I think you should have faith too. Now, if that wasn't scary, let me do some more Michael Jackson scatting. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, dreams are dreamt, passions are ignited, epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. In the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it whilst conscious. The dreams. How about them dreams? How about, how about hands? Hands are weird. Look, there's the meat append. I was talking about appendage. The meat. That's what we used to play Call of Duty. Well, some of us. So, um... Yeah, who the fuck, like, decorates their house with shit like this? Oh, you know, here's a bug. Is that, what is that? Yeah, it's a good, um, warm, welcoming house. No lights on the ceiling, you know? No lights, barely any furniture, and uh, oh, but here's bugs on the wall. Anthropologists, I guess, what, <laughs> right? Yes, and scientists, maybe. Okay, all right, all right. You got me, you got me. Um, why am I able to run like five times my walking speed? That's ridiculous things. And yet this analogy is an incomplete one, for obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, and it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. Did you ever see the talented Mr. Ripley? Matt, Mark Damon delivers a line. I almost said his name right. That would have been a sin. About, um... How the basement, you know, it's like where you keep all your secrets and, and your stupid comments in your pocket. And um, I really liked, I'm not doing it any justice. He's talking about how like dark it is. You know, I was like, oh, that's good. That's a good speech. Oh, hey, KY. Oh, hi. Um, yeah, I, I, sorry, I forgot about the Mars Volta game. I'll forget about that, but I definitely want to check that out for Spooptober. That's, I remember you told me about that a while back, and I, I totally fucking forgot. But Bedlam and Goliath, 
still one of my favorite Volta albums. Even though I'm generally not so hot on anything after Francis the Mute, I think Bedlam is a pretty good one. And Spoopy. Oh, hey, Joel. Oh, hi, streamers. Hello. Welcome to the horror game show. Where, you know, the decor of this house includes a, a cassette tape on an empty wall in the basement. But as I understand it, this game is, is kind of more slow burn as opposed to, like, blatant horror and jump scares. Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy-handed one. And often the basement is little more than a storage space, littered with the corpses of spiders and whip lice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement, in truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind. That place of dreams, which is actually the most frightening of all. Okay, so the master bedroom's usually upstairs. That was close, but whoa. Okay, this is uh, the first time I'm seeing a different kind of. Here. It's red. The room is red. Something weird about that. Like this whole time you're going through this house and, and you know, everything looks the same and then you just go into a red room. It's like, okay. Oh, that's convenient. Again, this, this, you know, the sense of, of decoration. <laughs> Wait a minute. These, um, Paintings weren't here a minute ago. Not only that, but the room is now different. Um, okay, that actually kind of caught me off guard a little bit. I like, yeah, just like a mouths. That's good. That's good normal people. It is here, in the bedroom, that we are at our most vulnerable. Each night we shut our senses to the world for hours at a time. Trusting in the house to keep us safe until next we wake. In this state of extreme vulnerability, we will spend something like 20% of our lives. Anything might stand beside us, watch us, keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouse. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. Okay. So... Yeah. Uh, the game just closed itself. I'm being told I have to reload the game to get more out of it. So I'm going to do that. It's a little corrupted. Okay, things look corrupted now, and... Was there like a thin vibration filter last time? Because things are a little rumbly now. And there's like a weird ambient noise happening, so... Uh, yeah, the tape... The tape is getting fucked up from repeated viewing. I know there's a lot of people here who have never used VHS. This is for the best, trust me. <laughs> They're a fucking massive pain in the ass, and they would degrade over time. But, this is actually kind of cool. In the psychology of the modern, civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of that. Yeah, we're, we're wearing the tape out. Since as early as the monastic era, humankind has defined the era of the bed. 
of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. There is a tape in the dining room. <laughs> kind of cool. How about we just stay in here for a while? <laughs> we just stay right here. That's all. Don't have to leave. Oh, but I left chicken nuggets in the oven. Okay, let's do this again. Quality audio. Oh, this, this actually sounds like the audio quality of Tommy Wiseau's show, The Neighbors. Okay. Okay, whatever you say. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's that's a little loud. It's time for me to remove myself from that situation, lest I lose my hearing. The fuck? The, is it just me? Is the mirror corrupted on purpose? Oh. That's a cool message. I totally understand that message. Um, do you know why this game is doing this? It's because you have bad PC. Here's the, the master bedroom again. This is what it looks like. Whoa, that's a cool one. That's a nice little demon baby there on this woman's chest. That's good. <laughs> this game is corrupted. Of course I corrupt the fucking game. This is every time. Every time I play a game, it glitches. God damn it. It's because of my PC, isn't it? It is it's bad PC. I need to download a new PC. Or I have to download some PC cleaner software. So I was saying, I, I need to download PC Optimizer Pro for the totally legit low price of 299 US dollars monthly. <laughs> I didn't think glitches could actually be kind of scary. Okay. 
Do I plan on finishing a albino lullaby this year? Yes. Also, costume quest two. I started it two years ago, and then I played it again last year. I'm going to finish it this year, so it's a stream that took th two years to make. So it's obviously the best stream. And, uh, yeah, Albino Lullaby, I'll definitely be playing for Spooptober. Took 12 years to mark. I was told to turn on a lamp in the room with the TV. Oh, wow. There actually is light. <laughs> this is the only light in the fucking house. What's that? That's not a tape. That looks like when you tilted the cartridge in Goldeneye. That looks like Golden... I... Gold Schwinkta It is easier to focus attention on dining room of the stomach or digestive system of health that is compiled for this tenuous. By contrast, the function and analyze of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The highways and corridors of the house are veins, providing circulation, coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of the house serve much the same purpose as art, while anyone who has ever rounded a bend in a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a pair of dark manor will tell you that the house is a creature of the It's a good thing I left the room. Speaking of the room, is this the room? From the room? You are my rose, you are my rose, you are my rose. Basement is 
Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that, there you go. I was gonna say the first part of that sounded like... Like a bad door song. The killer awoke. The game just closed itself. I guess we're going to go again. So another generation of playing the tape on the VCR. It's going to wear it out even more. We got to keep going. Now this is going to be good. It's going to be totally normal. See, we're right here in the house, the same house that we were in before. The same house that we were in before. His brain is squirming like a toad. If you give this man a ride, then something family will die? I don't remember the Doors lyrics. It was Riders on the Storm and The End. Those are the two songs I'm thinking of. Is this house, like, turning into a fucking body? Yeah, no thanks. Here's the spleen. The part of the house where the spleen resides. fucking tape. This is reminding me of that game from the Skunk Collection I played. With the shit in the walls and- The fucking whatever horror game that was. Hey, the door is really small. Never came back. Never came back. Yep, this is now corruptions. <laughs> this is a necessary function of this game. It's the little things, like, you know, floating plates. I mean, what were you expecting? Were you, were you expecting an audible tape? This is audible. I feel like something very wrong is about to happen, as if it hasn't already. You may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. And you may find yourself in another part of the world.
It's almost like this game was made for me. Hurts. Hurts. Nice double closet. Hurts. if there is a story being attempted like of something that happened in the house like like we got a little bit of a story before of a killer or someone entering the house spitting on the carpet and then torturing someone Sorry. Is necessary. I thought, you know, I, I have this opportunity. I can, I can be part of the game. Hey, you know what this sounds like? This sounds like Lou Reed's Metal Machine Music album. Y yes, even that. Lou Reed put out an album called Metal Machine Music, which was basically a fuck you to the record label, and it was just like the sound of metal scraping on other metal. And it was really not, re I don't know, I mean, you maybe some people would classify it as music. <laughs> Go ahead, look it up, try listening. Keyword is try. It was a refrigerator? Oh yeah, <laughs> he did some interesting things to make the sounds on that album, I could imagine. Um, yeah, this reminds me of that album. So if you like this sound that you're hearing right now, then you should check it out, because that's that'll definitely speak to you. So, where's this tape? Seriously, guys, did you- did anyone see a tape? Did I miss one? Was it floating? Was it in some outrageous location? The TV- oh, okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I- I'm forgetting where the tapes were in what order, so... I forgot that the TV was, in fact, a tape location. So, 
At what point do I find a guy sitting in a wall and shitting? Th that's not part of this, is it? By the way, if you watched that game, The Skunk Collection, I have an interesting piece of news. The, the developer of that quote-unquote game emailed me. I'm sure he won't mind me saying this, but he said that he acknowledges that his games were complete garbage and overpriced, and that he... There is an important distinction that must be drawn between the words deception and vivisection, a distinction that would appear to be lost on you. Your purpose was to listen, and yet at every turn you have pride, you have prodded, and you have interfered. Have you not been paying attention? Did it not occur to you that as an organism existing within a greater organism, your intrusion would be felt? And still you harass. And now, like the wayward spider who witlessly settles upon a sleeper's tongue, you will be swallowed. Because the truth is this. When a house is both hungry and awake, every room becomes a mouse. I know what song I'm playing during the BRB. With the teeth the Oh fuck, what is going on? It's like fucking artery tron. Well, it just closed itself again, everyone. <laughs> it just... It just closed itself. I'll finish my story about the skunk pack in a minute. He emailed me... Basically, he emailed me saying that he knows his games were shit, and he wants me to play his next game, and he's going to try harder to make it less shit. Which I found amusing. You make the skunk pack like 50 cents. Whoa, okay. Hi. Hi, tape. What happens to a house when it is left alone? When it becomes worn and aged? When its paint peels? And its foundations begin to sink? It goes for too long unlived in. What does it think of? What does it dream? How does it regard those creatures who built it? Die into existence only to abandon it when its usefulness no longer satisfies them. It may grow lonesome. They stare for long hours into the darkness of its own empty halls and see shadows. And its heart may jump as it thinks, Here, here is someone again, I'm not alone. And each time it is wrong. And the heart starts over. It may haunt itself, inventing ghosts to walk its floors. Making friends with its shadow puppets. Laughing and whispering to itself at the end of some quiet cul-de-sac. I can barely understand it, but it's... It may grow angry. It's too distorted. It may fill with churning acid like an empty stomach. And its gorge may rise as it asks itself through clenched teeth, What did I do wrong? But it's still so fucking weird. It may grow bitter. It may grow hungry. So hungry and so bitter that its scruples dissolve and its doors unlock themselves. While a house may hunger, it cannot starve. And so, in fever and anger and loneliness, it may simply lie in wait. Doors open. 
shades drawn, always empty. I've been eaten. I'm part of the house. I mean, the concept of the abandoned house is actually... I don't know if any of you have been in like a, an abandoned house, but I went exploring one time. And there was a very... Um, very old, creepy house that my friends and I went into, that it was just about to be knocked down. Wasn't too far from where I lived. We rode our bikes there. We walked into the house. But we actually weren't supposed to be in there. We snuck through the gate. We get further into the house. This distinct smell of piss. Turned out cats lived in the house. So that wasn't a good place to drink our beer. So we left. That's the end of the story. Because you don't want piss when you're drinking. That's the end of the story. All right, well, that was the um, anatomy game. It was, it was sufficiently weird. Hang on a sec. Well, yeah, so that's that's the anatomy. Um, there's more games that um, that I would definitely be uh, interested in playing that are as short as this one, that have a different style and a different take. Also, there's a text file included with this game. Hang on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it. Um, okay, hang on a second. So there's a text file here, guys. It's a notepad file. It says, Spoilers play before reading the notepad okay scroll down slowly stop at the speed bumps have you only run the game once it must be run several times are you in the basement immobile with the tape player has it played its tape you've reached the end of the game um, it says here you can hit the delete key at this scene to erase the game's memory and start over from the very beginning. So that's totally irrelevant and has nothing to do with anything going forward. So that's it. That's the whole game. Very interesting. And also this dude has made a bunch of different games and I'm going to take a look at some of them. Uh, for future Spooptober streams. This is just the beginning. There's definitely going to be more, and there's going to be more interesting and stranger games and more, I think. Um, th that was actually pretty good, though. I like that. That was that was unique and strange. And I think, um, I think he did a pretty good job with it. Could have gone a little further, but not too bad. So, yeah, there's there's a bunch on... Kitty Horror Show, that's the, that's the name of the person that made it. Kitty, Kitty Horror Show has a website with a fuckload of games. This one looks good. That's good text. <laughs> I like that text. Um, so yeah, there's some other ones here that I might want to check out. And also I have other completely unrelated to this developer games. So yeah, Spooptober will continue, but we're going to now continue with Super Mario Sunshine. The bright and cheery Super Mario Sunshine, so no more dark, weird fucking bugs and house stuff.
So I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a quick BRB and then I will come back with Super Mario Sunshine. So thank you again, everyone. I just want to say this one last time. The amount of support I've received from the Twitch Prime subscribers has been incredible and I'm floored. We have new emotes on the way. Um, I've said this before. I'll say it again. I'm very grateful for what I have here and I'm grateful that you guys have decided to spend that sub on me. Um, I would also say that if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, go to twitchprime.com, link your Amazon account to Twitch and you get one free subscription that you can spend on anyone. And I've also said this at the beginning of the stream, but anyone on the vine sauce team, I'm good. I have enough. I do appreciate what you've done and you know, I'm definitely happy, but you can spend that on anyone. And, uh, there are other vine sauce streamers that you can go to and they're on vinesauce.com or you can go to twitch.tv slash team slash vine sauce. And you see all of our streamers. We have KY, Joel, Darren, Limes, Direbor, Fred, Hootie, Jen, etc. Imakuni. I'm now I now I have to list everyone because I got this far. I've come this far. I have to continue. Um and GPM. <laughs> he was the only one I missed. Well, Fear Gingers hasn't streamed in a while, but sometimes that's life. So anyway, um, yeah, if, if you want to subscribe to some other good streamers on the team, they could definitely use it more than I could. I, I appreciate what I have, but um, spend it on them. Make them feel good. All right, listen, that's the first game. Sunshine up next. Stick around. It'll be a lot of fun. Be right back, guys. <laughs> 